Hi everyone, so this is the last vid for the first lesson of the second pack <laughs> of the um, A2 forces. Connected particles, it's lovely, I really like this. So we've got a mass of three kilo rests on the surface of a smooth plane. So it's all smooth, isn't it? We're going to do this all with a friction as well. So that's 3G. So that's a 45, isn't it? So we've got like that. the 3G acting down. And we've got 45, so we've got 3G cos 45, and we've got 3G sine 45. Uh, so then it says the mass is attached to a cable which passes up a plane along the line of greater slopes, or parallel to it, uh, and then passes over a smooth pulley, so there's no friction. Um, the masses are modelled as a particle, the cable is light and inextensible. So that's an assumption, if they ask you for an assumption, then it's not given. There is a force of P acting on the three kilogram mass, and the system is in equilibrium. So I'm, I'm holding it, I'm holding it in place. Now that P, if you think about it, if I break it down into parallels and perpendiculars, the force is acting that way. Now if that is parallel to the horizontal, does it say that? acting horizontally, then that angle there must be 45 because it's a Z angle. So if I look at that P as a Z, with that being 45, if the force goes that way, then that way. So this will be P sine 45, and this will be P, nope, got the wrong way around, don't that? you donkey. Remember, cos always goes next to the angle. So P cos 45 and P sine 45. Doing all right, so that's what said. Right then, so what are we going to do? We want to find the magnitude of P. So I guess the easiest way to do it is try and set up the equations for what we know. We've got a one kilogram mass here, so I've got G acting down. I've got tension and I've got tension. Now it's being held in place, isn't it? So the acceleration is zero, it's going nowhere. So I can be a bit sneaky, I can work out what the tension is in the string. So if I look at the one kg mass and do F equals MA, up is equal to down, or up minus down is equal to zero. So I do up minus down is equal to zero, or up is equal to down, then T minus G is equal to zero, so my tension is G, which is 9.8. So my tension is 9.8. There. Right, so now let's have a look. So now I've got the tension. Let's see if that helps me then for working out P. So if I know what T is, so let's have a look at F equals MA. Let's have a look parallel. It might be that we want the perpendicular, but it makes no loss, does it? It's not going anywhere. So parallel would say that maybe going that way, going up, minus going down is equal to zero, or vice versa, it doesn't matter. So the force pushing up would be the P cos 45. The force pushing down, because it's smooth, there's no friction or anything, the force pushing down is 3G sine 45. So that's equal to zero. So that's quite nice because I've got P, would be a 3g sine 45 over cos 45. Well, sine 45 over cos 45 is tan 45. Tan 45 is 1. So potentially, P would be. Oh, I missed that tension, haven't I? Oh, that's not good. I made a mistake, sorry. We forgot about the tension. I was getting all carried away with myself. I've got a tension here, which was G. So that'd be like a, a takeaway G here. Sorry. Oh, that's just made it a little bit more tricky. So anyway, if I stick that all in my calculator, it comes up with 15.5. So P is 16 newtons. Oh, do you know in my head, I was so looking forward to it just being sine 45 over cos 45 is tan 45, which is 1. But I completely forgot about the T, which was a G. Right, so I've got my P now, so that's part A again. So sorry about that, everyone. Then part B says the normal, the, the normal reaction. So if I look, 
So the direct equals MA perpendicular to the plane. So remember, it's in equilibrium because it's not bouncing off the plane. It's not burying itself down the plane. So I am actually missing an R off my bottom right hand side. So force is going up the plane. Minus force is going down the perpendicular are equal to zero. So being really careful now, seeing the bit around the minute ago, the force going up is R. A force going down from my picture is my P uh, sine 45. But also there's the component of weight, which is a 3G cos 45. And that's equal to zero. Now I know what my P is. So if I do a rearrange for R, it's my P, which was 16, which was 15.5 in my day, just don't know, using data value. So 15.5 sine 45 plus 3 times 9.8 sine 45 gives me a, an R value of, it says 31.8, and then it's rounded to 32 newtons for the thing. <coughs> Is that all right, everybody? So sorry about missing off G, I've just got myself so carried away with the idea that I'd have a sine 45 over cos 45 instead of tan 45. So that's that lesson done. Loads to have a go at, but the dead, dead straightforward. It's so nice. Right, see you later. Bye-bye.